I'm Mark with JoSL Productions, and this is our Forerunner Cargo Attic. Now, before you go diving headfirst into this DIY project, let me let you know there are companies that make these Forerunner Cargo or Forerunner SUV attics. The first of which is Blue Ridge Overland Gear. This is the one that I ultimately wanted to buy, but I had some caveats with. We'll talk about those in the video. The other company that makes these that are very popular are Wrangler Nets. The Wrangler Nets are more expensive and do require drilling or modification to your vehicle anyway. I figured if I was going to spend that kind of money, I wanted to make sure that it met my family's requirements. Now you'll notice in this video I don't take any of the panels off and I don't show you any of the points that I've actually drilled into the Forerunner. I'm going to refer you to Wrangler Nets video for their Forerunner attic. That's not to say that Wrangler Nets are not a great option. The Wrangler Nets are actually really fantastic. I just didn't have it in my budget. The Blue Ridge Overland Gear, the Wrangler Nets, these are excellent uh, cargo attics and everybody loves them. I just needed something to do exactly what I wanted it to do. I wanted to use some points in the middle to, to basically tighten this up and keep it out of my line of sight for the rear view mirror. The biggest problem we have with the one with, for Blue Ridge Overland gear is that it, the mounting point actually came up to this handle right here, which meant that the net itself was right over the heads of anybody sitting back here in the back seat. So that's why, I actually used the same idea that Wrangler Nets did by having a connection point behind the pillar. In the front, you do need to actually run, uh, drill two holes because you want it to be as high up as possible so it's not pulling that plastic out. Behind here, there, there, there's nothing right behind here. So I drilled two holes and I ran this little cable through those two holes. In, back here in the deep pillars, I did not have to do any drilling. There's actually some holes that I was able to run that cable through. The design difference I like about my particular one over well, the ones I could buy was being able to use these two mounting points. Quarter 20 bolts uh, tapped, in, uh, tapped and threaded uh, where those clips were for the, the headliner. The front piece, I've got a quarter inch uh, elastic cord, which I have tied to that in a uh, uh, cow hitch and then a half hitch. The net itself is 550 paracord uh, using box knots. You're not gonna wanna put anything heavy in here. You're looking at like, you know, this is a uh, bestie blanket. Here's an ice mule for if we decide to get ice at camp. Nothing like a hammock. Uh, even with this all loaded up, I was able to see out of the back window, which is perfect. So yeah, this is uh, this is version one. We've been really happy with it. Got us all the way from Colorado to here. Um, everything stayed secure, even with some emergency stops. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. I'll be sure to leave links to all the stuff that I used, as well as the Rango Nets video that I referenced. And yeah, thanks for watching.